Ever wondered why certain planets in our vast universe lack satellites orbiting them? This enigma has puzzled astronomers for centuries. After all, satellites or moons as we commonly refer to them are a staple in our night sky. Our moon, Luna, is a comforting presence that has guided humanity through the ages. But not every planet in our solar system shares this lunar companionship. Take Venus and Mercury, for example. These two planets closest to our Sun are devoid of any moons. Now, you might think, well, they're so close to the Sun, maybe it's too hot for moons to form. While this is a logical assumption, it's not entirely accurate. The reality is far more intriguing. Firstly, let's understand what a satellite is and why it's important. In simple terms, a satellite is a celestial body that orbits a planet. They can be natural, like our moon, or man-made, like the International Space Station. Satellites play a crucial role in planetary systems. They help stabilize a planet's axial tilt, influence tides, and in some cases, can even affect the planet's climate. But why do Venus and Mercury lack these celestial companions? To answer that question requires us to delve into the complex world of planetary formation and celestial mechanics. Factors like the planet's proximity to the Sun, its gravitational pull, and its size all contribute to whether or not it can capture and retain a satellite in its orbit. The absence of satellites around these planets is not a random occurrence. Instead, it is a product of the unique conditions and events that took place during the formation of our solar system. So, while Venus and Mercury may lack the lunar companionship we're so accustomed to on Earth, they offer a unique glimpse into the diverse and often surprising mechanics of our universe. As we delve deeper, you might find that the absence of satellites around these planets is not just a random occurrence, but a result of fascinating cosmic phenomena. First off, let's zoom into our solar system's innermost planet, Mercury. A fascinating world, Mercury is a planet of extremes. It's the smallest planet in our solar system, with a surface scarred by impact craters and a history of violent collisions. But despite its diminutive size and turbulent past, Mercury is a planet that holds a wealth of information for those willing to look. So why doesn't Mercury have any satellites? The answer is quite interesting, and it has everything to do with its location. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, and this proximity has a significant impact on its gravitational interactions. The Sun, being the massive object that it is, exerts a powerful gravitational pull on anything that comes near it, including Mercury. The gravitational influence of the Sun is so strong that it makes it difficult for Mercury to capture or maintain a satellite. A potential moon would need to have just the right speed and trajectory to fall into a stable orbit around Mercury without being pulled away by the Sun's gravity. It's a delicate balance, and so far it seems that Mercury hasn't been able to achieve it. Moreover, Mercury itself has a relatively weak gravitational field due to its small size. This means it's even harder for the planet to hold on to anything that comes its way. A satellite would need to be incredibly close to the planet to stay in orbit, which would make it even more susceptible to the Sun's gravitational pull. So, between the Sun's massive gravitational influence and Mercury's weak gravitational field, any potential satellite doesn't stand much of a chance. It's a bit like trying to hold on to a feather in a hurricane. The odds are simply not in Mercury's favor. In essence, Mercury's close relationship with the Sun leaves no room for any other celestial companions. It's a lonely world, but one that continues to captivate us with its stark beauty and the secrets it holds about the early solar system. Next, we turn our gaze to Venus, our nearest planetary neighbor, yet devoid of any moons. A fascinating celestial body, Venus, often dubbed as Earth's sister planet, boasts a unique set of characteristics that explain its solitary existence in the cosmos. Now, you might be wondering, why doesn't Venus have any moons? Well, there are a few reasons. Let's dive in and demystify this. First off, Venus's rotation speed is exceptionally slow. It takes Venus about 243 Earth days to complete a single rotation on its axis. This slow rotation speed is a key factor in Venus's lack of moons. You see, a planet needs a certain rotation speed to capture a body into its orbit, and Venus's snail-like spin simply doesn't cut it. Next, we have Venus's peculiar retrograde rotation. Unlike most planets that rotate in the same direction as they orbit the Sun, Venus spins in the opposite direction. 
This retrograde rotation disrupts the gravitational dynamics that are necessary for capturing and maintaining moons. Lastly, Venus lacks a strong magnetic field. A robust magnetic field is vital for protecting a planet's atmosphere from solar winds. Without it, any potential moon of Venus would be exposed to these harsh solar winds, making it difficult for the moon to remain in orbit. So, those are the primary reasons why Venus stands alone in space without any moons. Its slow rotation speed, retrograde rotation, and lack of a strong magnetic field all contribute to this phenomenon. But on the flip side, these unique traits make Venus a captivating subject for astronomical studies. Thus, Venus's uniqueness extends to its solitary existence in space without any satellite companions. It's a lonely beauty indeed, but one that continues to intrigue and inspire us as we delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe. Now that we've explored the specifics, it's time to look at the broader cosmic mechanisms at play. When we gaze into the night sky, it's easy to get lost in the beauty of it all. But behind that beauty, lies a complex dance of cosmic forces shaping and directing the celestial bodies we see. One of these forces is at play when we talk about why some planets like Venus and Mercury don't have any satellites. Let's start with planetary formation. Planets are born from the gas and dust left over after a star forms. This material swirls around the star in a disk with different elements and compounds clumping together to form protoplanets. But not all of these protoplanets will become full-fledged planets. Some might collide and merge, while others might be flung out of the system entirely. In this cosmic lottery, not every planet wins a moon. Another factor is the gravitational influence. Every celestial body exerts a gravitational pull on the bodies around it. This gravitational ballet determines the orbits of planets and their moons. But here's the catch. A planet needs to have a significant gravitational pull to capture a moon and hold it in its orbit. Smaller planets like Mercury and Venus lack the gravitational might to do so. Then there's the role of cosmic collisions. Our own moon, for instance, is believed to have been formed when a Mars-sized body collided with the early Earth. The debris from this impact eventually coalesced to form the moon. But not all planets have experienced such cataclysmic events. Hence, no moons. Finally, the proximity to the Sun plays a part too. The closer a planet is to the Sun, the stronger the Sun's gravitational pull on it. This makes it harder for the planet to hold on to its own moons. As we can see, the lack of satellites around certain planets is a complex interplay of numerous cosmic factors. To wrap things up, let's revisit the key points we've learned today. Our cosmic journey began with the intriguing enigma of orbitless planets. A planet without a satellite is like a ballroom without dancers. It's still a ballroom there's something missing. Something that adds to the richness of the spectacle. This brings us to the fascinating case of Mercury and Venus, the two planets in our solar system that dance alone in the cosmic ballroom. We delved into the case of Mercury, the smallest and innermost planet in our solar system. Its close proximity to the Sun, combined with its small mass, makes it unable to hold onto a moon. The Sun's overwhelming gravitational pull would simply pry away any potential satellite from Mercury's grasp. The same principle applies to Venus, the second planet from the Sun, often referred to as Earth's twin due to its similar size and composition. Despite its similarity to our planet, Venus lacks a moon. Its proximity to the Sun and the strong solar gravitational forces prevent it from retaining a natural satellite. But it's not just about Mercury and Venus. The lack of satellites around certain planets is indicative of broader cosmic principles at play. From the gravitational forces that bind celestial bodies together, to the dynamical processes that lead to the formation and evolution of planetary systems, every detail contributes to the grand tapestry of the cosmos. The universe, in all its vastness, is a symphony of celestial bodies, each playing its unique part. The absence of satellites around certain planets is just one of the many melodies in this cosmic symphony, reflecting the intricate and fascinating complexities of the universe. So, the next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember that the absence of satellites around certain planets is a testament to the intriguing complexities of our universe.